Hey, good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the channel, Cooking with EMV. I am Eric, and let me show you what we got going on today. All right, right here, we're going to be doing Cooking with EMV's version of a Shepherd's Pie. I got some um, little uh, ground beef burgers here, kind of um, used for sliders. We're going to be doing some mashed potatoes, garlic mashed potatoes. And I'm going to be using some cream of mushroom. And we're going to have some sliced uh, onions in the meal. And guess what? It's all going to be cooked in one pot. That's right, guys. So stay tuned. This should be a good cook. I'm going to get everything prepped. And I'm going to bring you back um, to show you um, how the progress is. And if you haven't done by now, please like, share, subscribe. We need that subscri subscription. Also, give us a thumbs up and give me a comment or two. We'd love to hear what you're talking about. All right, guys. So sit back, relax. It should be a good cook. And um, I'll bring you back in a little bit. Okay, everyone. We're back. We got our uh, potatoes cleaned and peeled. And I just got them sitting in this water so they won't go brown. And before I peel the potatoes, I'm going to go ahead and um, first of all, I'm going to sharpen my knife. Gonna get these onions cut off. So like how I like to cook, uh, cut onions. I like to just cut them in half like that, and then I leave the uh, the root in on there so the onion won't come off on me. And just peel the outer skin like so. Gonna make some slits in the onion and I'm gonna have these pretty thick so I'm going about maybe about a half inch thick and just cut across like so and if you notice the onion stayed intact because I kept the the root end on. So we're just gonna get this to the side. I think I'm only gonna do one onion. Cut that one end off again. Peel that first layer of skin off. Now, let's talk about these mashed potatoes. I have some garlic here, and this garlic is potent. It is very strong. It smells delicious. I'm going to be roasting these. I'm going to roast them in a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, and um, roast them in the oven probably about 400 degrees for maybe 40 minutes, 45 minutes. So let's go get cut our potatoes. They don't have to be uniform, really, because these potatoes are going to boil to their very, very soft, a little more than fork tender. Now, of course, I don't want them to fall apart on me, but since we're mashing them, it doesn't matter. We're not making potato salad. Now, don't judge me. I love potato salad, but I don't like mashed potato salad, if you all understand what I'm talking about. I like my potato salad in chunks and have a little texture to it. So you want to cut your potatoes probably roughly about that size like that. And um, you know, put them in that hot boiling salted water. Now 
Yeah, this is a way different version of Shepherd's Pie. I'm sure I'll probably get some comments. That ain't no real Shepherd's Pie. But Shepherd's Pie got the peas, the carrots, and all that stuff in there. I don't care for peas at all. I like carrots raw. And if they're not raw, they're like in a, a um, stir fry where they really, 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 uh, you know, got a texture to it, kind of got a little crunch to it. So this is my version of shepherd's pie. Oh, back to the um, mashed potatoes. Yes, I'm going to do the garlic. And um, I'm going to also add uh, probably half a stick of real butter. We'll start off with that. Then I have some uh, half and half. We're going to mix that, uh, mix it up with some half and a half. And um, I'm going to try to get them as fluffy as I can. I wish uh, V was here because she makes the ultimate mashed potatoes. They are so creamy, so delicious. She's a very good cook. She, uh, she loves being in the kitchen just as much as I do. Not totally like I do. We almost got these potatoes done. Hope everybody is having a beautiful Sunday. The weather here is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it did rain just a touch yesterday, but uh, the weather's being made up for it now. Well, I believe this is already April. My mom should be celebrating her birthday soon on the 18th. Oh, got one more. Let's grab a little small one here. All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get the water prepared for the potatoes. Um, I'm going to trim up these uh, olives. I'm not olives. <laughs> the, um, oh my God, the garlic. I want to just take these ends off right here. And I'm going to get that prepped to put in the silver, some aluminum foil and some olive oil. And then we're going to roast them. So uh, stick with me. Stay tuned and we'll be right back. All right, gang, we are back, and the garlic is roasted off. Let me just show you what it looks like. Absolutely delicious. What we're going to do, we're going to take the garlic, we're going to put them in this little bowl right here with the olive oil and the salt. Just like that. I'm going to take this, and we're going to crush it. And this is going to go in our... Um, to show you what's going on here. See that? And this garlic is nice and sweet now. And the roast garlic it sweetens up. And this is going to go into our mashed potatoes. You don't have to necessarily puree them. Just get them, um, you know, kind of pulverized so that they'll mix nice and easy into the potatoes and we're also going to be topping this meal off with uh, a little bit of shredded cheese and we don't put too much okay so you basically want it to be something like that nice and creamy all right we're going to set this to the side our potatoes are ready. Get our hot plate. Gonna drain them in the sink here. The 
the onions are doing very well. Let me just give you a little quick peek to get a nice caramelization on them. All right, we got our potato drain. And I switched out bowls because the other ones are too small. Now I have a whole stick of butter here. I like to get my butter in first. Get that started. I'm gonna break that butt up a little bit. I was looking for our blender. I found it, but I only found one of these uh, blenders, blending things. I forget what it's called. I don't know where the other one is at, but we're gonna try to do what it do and make it work. All right, I have some half and a half. Now, you always want to start out with a little bit because you can't take out. And we're going to get this to try. And it's still pretty good with just one. Right, so when you're doing your mashed potatoes, everybody does it different. Like I said, I like to put the butter in first to get that nice and melted. And um, put the cream in there. Now, I won't season anything until it is absolutely fluffy and almost ready to be eaten. And I put the roasted garlic in last once everything is all smoothed out. This is where you need two at right here, because this is giving me a hard time. These little chunks right here, but it's all good. Kinda look like cake batter a little bit, don't it? Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and add the, the garlic. The roasted garlic is gonna be nice and sweet. It's not gonna be um, like a really hard pungent taste. But when you roast garlic, garlic gets sweet as it gets as it cooks. Alright, we're gonna get that in there now. Sorry about the noise, but that's what the cooking is all about. Sometimes you gotta get a little noise in the kitchen. And for you people that have never done mashed potatoes before, don't worry about it if it just doesn't have that ice cream consistency. You may have a couple of lumps in there. That's fine. It still eats well and it's going in the same direction. Alright. Now, we're going to taste. Oh, that's delicious. You taste the garlic right off the bat, and it's not strong at all. I'm gonna take a couple of tables, a couple of these uh, spoonfuls of uh, sea salt. We're gonna start off small. We're gonna add a little pepper. I'm gonna start off small. What I'm gonna do, I wanna. Clean the sides off real quick before I start blending again. Okay. I'm gonna blend this on slow. Do another 
taste. That's perfect. Perfect amount of salt, perfect amount of pepper. All right, so what we're gonna do now, get this blade out here. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this with some aluminum foil. We're gonna set it to the side. We're gonna wait on our onions. And then when I'm gonna bring it back, Once I get them uh, hamburgers in the cast iron. Remember, one, one pot cooking, y'all. It's gonna be a great meal. So stay tuned, don't go nowhere. Okay, we are back. Our onions are done. They have caramelized to perfection. It looks delicious. We're gonna set this aside. Now we're gonna cook off our meat. I'm gonna bring it in a little closer, show you what I'm gonna do. We got our cast iron pot getting hot here. It's on a medium, medium high. We're gonna take just a little bit of grapeseed oil, just a little bit. We're gonna place our burgers in now. Each one, I'm gonna flatten down just a little bit. And we're gonna let these cook kind of really slow. This is gonna be delicious. I can't wait to eat. I didn't have any breakfast nor lunch today. I just had coffee this morning. All right now, we're not, we're not gonna to touch these things until we see the um, right up, right on the bottom here as it comes up. You can tell that it's getting cooked at least halfway. Alright, wash my hands a little bit. Now, depending on how much grease this makes, if it doesn't make a whole lot of grease, then I'll go ahead and um, just keep it in there. But if it makes too much grease, then I'm just going to pour it off. So in the meanwhile, I'll go ahead and still season on this side. Remember, we're just using some all-purpose seasoning, some adobo. This has everything in it that you need to get a good flavor on your food. Okay, we're also going to be using a little bit of black pepper, not too much. Okay, that's it. All right, guys. Don't go nowhere. I hope you're enjoying this video by now. Please hit that thumbs up, hit that bell, so that uh, you'll be first one notified when we do more videos. And um, also, subscribe. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. All right, Cooking with EMB fans, we are back. It is time to get these little burgers out of here. They did get a nice little color on them. Nice little char. And there is a little bit more grease than I want. So I will be dumping this grease out and then lightly re-seasoning them lightly. So um, be right back and get rid of this grease. stove off for now and then we're gonna build this so sit back and relax also I got a surprise well it ain't really a surprise I just was thinking about it I am gonna top the potatoes with a little bit of breadcrumbs 
All right, so we're gonna get our mini burgers back into our pan and spread them out a little bit like that. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get some caramelized onions on top of each burger. Like such. Y'all with me? Grab some on the stove. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Next step. Those beautiful potatoes that we did. We got a few those ready. But before that, I had that cream of mushroom. Now the direction says one can of cream of mushroom to one cup of water, but I did a half a cup because I want to keep it thick and keep it um, more flavorful. smooth, not smooth, but dollop over each burger, and on the sides of the burger, this is going to be delicious, it's going to be interesting, but also delicious. I was here to taste this. I wish I could send the food. All right. Got that done. Now, we're going to take our potatoes. I'm going to bring you up a little closer. How's that? Everybody can see that? We're gonna place our creamy, garlicky, buttery potatoes on top. It's all starting to come together, folks. And I probably shouldn't have added that, the mother three potatoes, but it's good. And I have the oven set to 300 on bake. And we got some potatoes left over on the side that you can have on the side of your meal if you like. I'm just going to smooth this out a little bit, get it nice and pretty for presentation purposes. And we may have to cook this on a cookie sheet just in case it drips over. Now, we're going to take a little breadcrumb. Just like that. And these are Italian breadcrumbs, so it's got some good flavor on them. Now, I'm not going to throw the cheese in right away because I want the breadcrumbs to toast up just a little bit. Let me get the sides. And we'll let this bake for about 15 minutes on 300. And then we'll uh, take it back out and I'll throw some cheese on top. All right. Get a cookie sheet. Okay. 
Doesn't that look delicious? We're gonna throw this on the middle rack. Say we're gonna cook this for about 15 minutes. We'll check it. And then if it looks proper, we'll go ahead and uh, put our cheese on top. All right guys, so I know this is a pretty lengthy video, but it's gonna be worth it in the end. So stay tuned and we'll see you shortly. All right, fam, we are back, and this is our version of Shepherd's Pie, cooking with EMV style. Now, it's very hot. It just come out the oven. I probably should let it set for a little while, but I just can't wait. So we're going to go ahead and dish into it. Tell that's a piece of meat right there. Smells delicious. Make a little mess. eat with a spoon. Let me bring you up, up close and personal here. There we go. How's everybody? All right. Okay, let's go for him for a taste test. First of all, let's get these potatoes and um, the cream of mushroom. Yes. Mm. Very good flavor. Seasoned very well. We're going to get one with the cheese on it. Cheese. Mm. And breadcrumb. Oh, breadcrumb is very well. Very nice on it. Some of that burger. Burgers cooked perfectly well. This is delicious. You must try this, people. If you just follow me and follow everything I did, you won't have no problem duplicating this. Totally delicious. Well, I'm Eric from Cooking with EMV. We want to thank you for supporting the channel and watching. I know it's been a lengthy uh, video, but um, like I said before, Please subscribe, like, and share. Give us that comment. Hit that thumbs up. And um, ring that notification bell. We love you guys. Until the next video, have a safe work week. And, we and we'll see you later.